Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. How many people are here for the first time? One, two. All right, so you've been, some of you have heard me before. And uh, sure, it is, it looks like another day in paradise. It's paradise. Is, is paradise on the outside or the inside? Is, is it always dependent on how the world is? Or can we change our internal and get more, and the outside looks different? That was my experience with raw foods. A total transformation, physically, mentally, emotionally, and it's still happening. And um, I was always someone looking on the outside to be feeling good on the inside. And I got to learn about raw foods and feeling good on the inside, and then the outside looks amazing. And so I go into the rain, and, uh, where I hear so many people complaining about rain or this or that. Uh, I'm like, I love it. Like a kid, like, do you, do you complain about rain? You love the rain, right? Do you get cold? You don't get cold too much, do you? But as we get older, we start to get cold, like when it's in the winter, and we get really hot in the summer. And when we start to eat raw foods, we start to reverse that aging thing that happens where we start to get more circulation, and we start to get, uh, in, I go to sometimes New York in the winter, and I'll wear this. Like pretty much this, and people are like, you know, how are you not cold? And it's like, because I don't eat hot food. And it's like the opposite of what people think. And it's because circulation. And I can tell the men here, circulation works all over. That's like a wave. Oh, that was a wee clap. <laughs> so, really, there is a reversing process in all areas, and that we can reverse the hands of time. And what I say, pure energy, is that we're eating natural foods in their natural state. And the processing that's going on is a little bit of what Ron is doing in front of you. Isn't it awesome? I'm so excited to, to try some of these out myself. Some of this Mexican, I love Mexican food. I always have, way before raw, burritos and tacos and I mean, chips, chips, and more chips. One more dip of the guacamole. And you know, or the, the salsa, and I just go and I go and I go. And I was always eating these foods and getting full and never satisfied. And now I eat raw foods and I get satisfied because there is water, there is vitamins, minerals, there's all these natural things that are supposed to be in food. This is the way we're supposed to eat. 1.7, 1.8 million species on the planet. And we're the only ones that cook our food. And we're the only ones that drink mother's milk after like two years old from another animal. And that's normal. And it's also normal to have prescription medication to get a disease or an ailment. Um, I think everybody gets one to some, you know, that I, I don't hear old age anymore is that the cause of death is like this this thing happened or this thing happened. And our lives can be a lot longer. And the quality of life can be a lot stronger. So much is in natural foods in their natural state. And so I keep encouraging people to come to classes like these. Go to the YouTube videos. I do YouTube videos and there's so many people doing YouTube videos on raw. And I get on my Facebook page or someone else's Facebook page and gets recipes on a daily basis. You keep starting to, to be in this and it starts to become more normal. To me, it's very normal now to eat raw food. Where before it was like, can I do it for my day? And okay, it's one meal totally raw. Oh, now three meals, I did a whole day. And oh, I did three days in a row. And, oh my God, I did years in a row. And, and that's how it happens where I thought I would never give up meat coming from In-N-Out Burger, and Taco Bell, and things all you can eat, and fried chicken, everything. I used to just eat, and eat, and eat, and I was maybe 20 or 30 pounds heavier. I wasn't too, like, uh, I wasn't someone who was overweight significantly or anything like that because I was addicted to basketball. I kept playing basketball, playing basketball. And all I was doing was acidifying acid food, lactic acid over playing basketball and it was just my body was just going down and down and down and I started to get into raw foods 
it started a total turnaround happened. I got quicker on the basketball court, I got younger on the basketball court, I got quicker recovery, I started making moves, I started pepping my step, and it was like, yes, I'm like a kid again. And I also noticed when I would go to the park, sometimes when you go to the park and like mommy takes you to the park, right, and uh, you get out of the door and you're like, yay, I'm here at the park, yay. That's how I am. And it's just a park. But my perception of the park is different because of what I've been eating. And, and we eat in a lot of ways. There are foods that we put in our bodies, but there's also we're eating other people's words and their thoughts and their energy and how to deal with people, relationships. You know, I've found that it's never what he said or she said or did do or didn't do. It's always my perception of what he said or she said or what he did or didn't do or whatever. And so when we detoxify, I'm really big on detoxification, detoxifying on a physical level will detoxify us also on a mental and emotional level. And I became a crier when I became raw. And men don't cry. Actually, men do. Boys don't. There's even a song about a cure. Um, but um, so I got to really embrace that part of me and, and let that flow go through of all that stuff I was holding on to for so many years because I was too brave to ever be scared and I was too cool to ever be angry. So I thought. But when I started to let that stuff go through, you see, there's all this energy. We're all energy. Einstein said it, Tesla said it, we're nothing but energy. And so people ask me, I want more energy, and I tell them, you're not going to get any more. There's no more energy for you. But what people like me do, what raw foods does, what, what people, uh, yoga instructors, or all these people that it seems like we're increasing energy after we hang out with them or do a class or whatever, they're just removing some of the obstructions from the energy that's already there. So when we start to remove obstructions, we're already there. There's no, like, I have to become an energetic person. Oh, I have to become this or that. My way of thinking of this, my philosophy on raw and, and, and life and health, is that we already are it. We just got to get out of the way and find those things that are like, blocking us from that it. And when the, we remove those things, we're just left with the goal, the prize, us, the beauty of us. Uh, I remember hearing a um, way before raw an analogy of Michelangelo saying uh, he was asked how do you make such a good horse? And he says he looks at the block of marble and he takes away everything that's not the horse. Wow, oh, that's pretty cool. That's like detoxification. We're taking away through fruits and vegetables, natural foods in their natural state. It's natural to detoxify anytime something toxic comes into us. That's the body's mechanism. And when we detoxify like that, we're just left with all the stuff we truly are, which is love, light, pure energy, as I say all the time. So I invite you all more and more to embrace raw foods. Just add. You don't have to take anything away. I tell people, people are like, oh, should I give up this? Should I give up that? I'm going to keep it all in there. You're like, eat the hamburger, eat the pizza, eat it all. Start eating more fruits and vegetables, getting good smoothies in and juices, and you're going to see that that other stuff is not going to disappear. <coughs> Slowly that happens, and the other stuff just goes away in its own time without any deprivation from you. Uh, some people are really good at saying no and no more, and they just white knuckle it and they hang on for dear life, and it, and it does work for them. But for me, it was more of a gradual process. I would go back to cook food, and I was doing like this back and forth dance for the first couple of years, hating myself. I was like, why can't I stick with this? Until I just like let it go and just said, you know what, I'm just going to eat whatever. But I'm going to eat more and more fruits and vegetables. And here I am, a vegan who eats mostly raw, good 90, over 98% of the time I'm raw. And sometimes I'll have a cooked thing, and at first when I was new to raw, I was like, I'll never do cooked, cooked is bad. Now I just have cooked every so often. But raw, I know when I'm, like when I really want to feel sharp or on my game, or if I've got a lot of work to do, I'll start like juicing more and, and eating lighter. Because it's not the food, people think like, oh, food is going to give you energy. A lot of times if you go to a hospital or something and you're sick, They'll say, like, here's, here's food, you need to get strength, build your strength up. 
here's some jello or something. But, but <laughs> yeah. it, whatever it is, their their mind thinking is like the food. You need your strength back. And the truth is, the food robs us of strength because we're busy digesting. But as soon as we start to uh, digest food that we were naturally made to eat, so much easier on digestion. And that energy that we do have can now go to healing, regenerating the body. And it will, and it's so awesome that way. It's really the lighter we eat, the, the more energy we're going to have as long as we're getting the vitamins and the minerals, the sugars, and I need the, the fuel, I'm talking the big sugars, we're getting the minerals and the salts from the greens and the sea salt and Himalayan rock salt, the real stuff. We're getting fats from avocados, nuts, and seeds. We're not cooking them and they get massive or processed. So there's abundance here. This is no diet. Diet is always about restriction. This is a lifestyle about abundance. We get to eat as much as we want because our bodies will know when we're full at the exact time. The stomach will send a signal to the brain saying not only enough and full, but satisfied. That's been my, my story is satisfaction from food. And so, and then I got to learn about coming here and, and eating like stuff that's raw that tastes cooked. And it's like, wow, I could have a loaf. I mean, this is like what you're eating right now. Taste, there's some cooked to it. There's some cooked flavoring to it. So there's no deprivation. Um, sometimes people will ask the protein questions, and uh, the best, that protein myth has already been shattered again and again and again. The uh, strongest man in the world is vegan. Uh, 2000, uh, last year, September 8th, lifted the most weight to show that vegans can. And, you know, and, and you can look at the gorilla or the elephant or the rhinoceros and ask them where they get their protein, because clearly they're not strong enough. So, I, actually, I don't know anybody who has a protein deficiency. Never met anyone who does. Uh, I've seen maybe some pictures of starving people in other countries. Maybe they have a protein deficiency. But protein excess is what we're getting. And the fact is, is that human beings do not use protein at all until they're broken down into amino acids. So what you're eating right now are straight aminos. That this, and, and this kind of food does break down. What Ron was talking about, it breaks down because that's naturally what foods do. When you preserve them like a processed food, they don't break down. If you get a hamburger from McDonald's and you like put it like on a windowsill, people have done this, and you go three months later, it's the exact same thing. There's like there's hardly any change, maybe one or two percent change in uh, you you put a natural food in its natural state for two months or three months, it's going to be totally rotten. And so, because natural food is supposed to break down, and therefore our bodies don't have to do work so hard to break down. So um, that's it, really. You guys, how do you like what you're eating? Great. All right. Have a great day. Thank you all. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you.